It's a rainy day here in Chicago today, so I'm seeking shelter at the trendy foodie neighborhood of the West Loop. Specifically here, we are at the Fulton Market area, and I started here at a coffee shop called Good Ambler, and we're having a quiche with some salad, a Queen Amman, oh, I'm so excited for this, it looks really good, a cold brew coffee, and soon I'll be covering a little bit more history in the next upcoming broadcast, so stay tuned. Mysterious Chicago, that's what I'm reading right now. And this is the gigantic coffee shop we're at. Just look how massive this place is. And this is pretty much indicative of the area we're gonna to visit today because this huge space used to be an industrial building. A lot of the buildings all around here were industrial. So this is basically like the meatpacking district equivalent for Chicago. Uh, but first, coffee. Here we can see a beautiful mural over here. This is Cadbury there. I'm not sure if it's related to the chocolate company. Here. So welcome everyone, nice to see you here. Um, magandang umaga to all the Filipinos tuning in. Komusta ka? Uh, buenos dias. Bienvenidos a Chicago a todos los personas viendo ahí afuera en Latinoamérica. And uh, oi tutubayan to all the Brazilians as well. We have people tuning in from all around the world. And we are in the very international city of Chicago. Walking around here, I hear way more languages uh, than I do in other American cities, with the exception of New York. I love quiche. I'm a huge sucker for quiche. Of course, we're not in France where the quiche reigns supreme, uh, but I'm actually surprised to see like, quiche a lot in the menus of Chicago, which is very interesting. There's more quiche here than there is in New York City. And this one looks very pretty. Let's try it out. And it's a, they have a bakery in the back. So this is a bakery and cafe. Uh, so they're not getting their baked goods from somewhere else. Now there's popular music playing here, so, <laughs> uh, Chris says this is a Chicago deep dish pizza. That is a good observation, Chris. Um, to me, Chicago deep dish pizza tastes more like a quiche than it does a pizza. So yes, I think that's a worthy comparison. This one's with uh, oyster mushrooms, goat cheese, and kale. And of course, quiche is basically an egg pie. And the song is saying, I'm so hungry. I, Yes, I am so hungry indeed. So I, this, there's popular music playing here. I'm not going to mute. We're gonna enter a few other markets here that have popular music. So this broadcast today is sponsored by patreon.com slash urbanist. That means after this video, most likely I'll be demonetized because of this music. Um, and I want to show you some market and cafes. So that's why I will be going live regardless. Try this out. Mm. Very, very heavy on the on the kale. Wow, it's really good. It's heavy on the kale, super heavy on the kale. So you get a very strong kale taste from it. Usually when there's some greens in the quiche, you don't taste the greens, but this one, wow. They use some powerful kale. The crust is awesome, really good crust. It tastes like a Chicago deep dish crust. It does not taste so much like the French style quiche. It's so interesting because look how thin the, the end is. The salad looks uh, fresh and nice as Joanne, yeah. I often get allergies from a uh, rocket, but let's try a little bit. Mm, yeah. Good salad, though. I get allergies from rocket slash arugula. Hey, Ron. Uh, Ron says, uh, Susie, he looks hungry. He might have to fight for it. <laughs> hey, Lorraine says, yes, food lives always make me hungry. I'm so glad they do. 
Yummy, Ariel. Send send that right over to Chicago. Uh, yeah, Colorado. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way from Colorado. Um, Brian says, Lazy Bird under Hoxton Hotel for a nice late night cocktail. Oh, cool. Thank you so much for the recommendation, Brian. If any lo local Chicagoans have uh, recommendations, do let us know. Julia says, oysters? No, oyster mushroom, which is a type of mushroom that looks like oysters. Hence, oyster mushroom that's not so uh, yeah there's a lot of other types of mushrooms Robson says good to see you hey walking around downtown Seattle I'll watch you on my phone says Wendy yeah <laughs> ironically we, we've uh, ironically you're watching downtown uh, you're watching from downtown Seattle after I explored downtown Seattle all right let me uh, finish off this quiche and then we'll try the Queen Amman Mm. What I like about cities about like Chicago is that you bump into places like this where you can just find good food, great seat seating, great ambiance, things to do while walking around. Peggy says that's a monster quiche. You know what? The quiches in France that I've had when I went to Paris, I'm so excited to go to Paris again. They were a lot bigger. <laughs> Quiches in Paris are bigger than the, the ones in the U.S., but I can't complain. This one, this one is huge. This one is a nice size for a U.S. quiche. Now let's try a cold brew. It's good. It's a bit. It's a bit light, but it's good. It's a very good cold brew. It's light. It's it's um, hard to tell what note this is. I would say it's like a watermelony type of note. D says it's raining in Vegas. Oh no. That's a rarity. Susie says that's a healthy portion of a quiche. Oh yeah. Kathy says you're a Europe spoiled of food and drink now. I am indeed. I am indeed. Now I can tell you one thing I really like more than New York. Something that Chicago and a few other cities like Seattle were. What do you think? I really, I really needed that. Oh. That was so good. Uh, Peggy says pretty crust. Yeah. Adam says, do you like dressing? Uh, I don't like too much rocket. That's why I'm not eating the, the rocket, which is the greens that they put for the salad. All right, let's try it. The queen, I'm on. McCarty says, I'm hungry now. So I needed this because uh, I haven't been feeling too well uh, stomach-wise and uh, a lot of food has been hitting me very hard and um, I just needed some kind of very light food and the quiche just hits the spot. Let's try this out. Queen Amon. Cheers. So this Queen Amon, uh, actually a little bit of context, this is supposed to be huge in Ireland. It's like supposed to be like this big in Ireland. Uh, and, um, or Northern France as well, Brittany too. That's where I think it's mostly made. And uh, there are tons of butter here. Like, it's like uh, three croissants squished into one. That's, that's basically what Queen Amman is in this, in this size. If you get the regular size, it's like 30 croissants squished into one. Mm. 
that's really good. Queen says, I hope you didn't get food poisoning. No, it's not food poisoning. It's not food poisoning. Um, so, it's um, a little bit too much information, but it's a canker sore, uh, which is a little sore inside the mouth that pops up, especially when he eating very acidic foods. And that's why I've been avoiding very acidic foods. So here, look at this. So many layers of this Queen Amman. That is beautiful. Wow, really well done. Peggy uh, rec recommends Manuka honey. Ooh, yes, honey. I did have some honey yesterday. It did help. So this is really, really good. So many layers. It's very buttery smooth. I love how glazed the outside is. It has that crunchy glazedness outside. Uh, on top is just perfectly toasted, not too toasted. Like just on the edge, on the precipice of being burnt, which is good for a Queen Amman. This is really, really good. Come on. Mm. I'm going to take the rest of this to go because I have a feeling we're going to bump into at least one other type of food. But this is really good. This is a really good bakery. I might come back here later in my trip. D says that bun looks good. AAP says airy nooks and crannies for texture. Yep, it has just enough air in between for that good texture. All right. Riccardi says good crackle. We can almost get it close enough to get a bite. Rebecca says my acupuncturist says popcorn causes cankers by uh, by uh, causing uh, cuts in the mouth. Yes, it does. Yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't due to yesterday's popcorn. Are you going to try Wahlburgers? Mark Wahlburg is from Boston, right? Uh, so Wahlburgers is more of a Boston thing, though there is a very Chicago thing. If we pass by it today, McDonald's. <laughs> is a very Chicago thing because the headquarters is right here. Uh, so we'll see if we pass by it and we'll go to the McDonald's. We'll actually try McDonald's at least once in my show, which I really am not a fan of fast food, especially a brand as ubiquitous as McDonald's. But maybe I'll make an exception. All right, let's go. This was good ambler. Highly recommend it. And oh my god. What the hell happened here? Oh 
rain. <laughs> this is a this is a tropical storm off the Great Lake. Oh no! This is why I call Windy. What the hell? Hey. Yeah, I have an umbrella. <laughs> I have a a rain jacket and a rain coat, so. I'm I'm very waterproof. I have a uh, waterproof uh, right now. Well, my camera isn't that waterproof. Any maybe coffee and dessert inside says Camilla. I already just came out coffee to the timeout market. I think I think it's better that we go into the timeout market, uh, which is only like a block away. Not liking the weather is enchanted. Yeah, yeah, indeed, it's pretty bad. Woo! Yeah, yeah. No, timeout market is only like a block away. Yeah, we're gonna make a run for it. Though, whoa. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna really gonna make a run for it. But I'm gonna sip. I'm gonna fully sip this. So I have both hands. Oh my god. Alright, wish me luck. Alright. Marcy says, and you thought Seattle was rainy. Not sure where Seattle gets its raininess from. Are you ready? Dave says, you won't melt, Ariel. Dave, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about my camera. Uh, <laughs> I, I'll survive the rain. It's not me, it's the camera. Like, I, I'm very well prepared for rain, uh, but this is super heavy rain, which is not very good for camera. This is not, this is not like Ireland, where it was, it was nice and drizzly. Actual rain. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god Enchanted says Does it really rain here a lot? No, no, Chicago's not known to be a rainy city Nope It rains less than it does in uh, Of course, much less than in Seattle Less than New York and Boston Alright, time my market Which one are you at? Oh, there it is Oh cool, we have more cover here. It's kind of nice. Kay says, why doesn't someone invent a cover for a camera? I wish someone would invent something to cover a gimbal in the camera. That Leslie says, now you look like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty... Uh, very hooded figure right now. I kind of like it. Let's walk around just a little bit more before we go to the timeout market. It's kind of cool. So, we know the market is right there. That's good. We won't miss that. Let's uh, stroll just a little bit. Get soaking wet before we dry off. Kathy says it could be snow. It's not cold enough to be snow. Enchanted Journey says, good to hear. <laughs> rainy place from the UK to another rainy place here in the US. 
I mean, New York is very rainy. Uh, probably a little bit less than London, but it's still a very rainy city. Gus's fried chicken. Kathy says it looks empty. Yeah, I have a feeling that this is a place that will get more full uh, at night and also on the weekends. It is Friday, which I'm a little bit surprised how empty it is, but I don't know. Let me know if this place ever gets super full. I think on a sunny day on the weekend, it probably is very packed. So there is a huge arcade right over here. Look at this Emporium. Must be 21 to enter. Oh my god, they have cruising. I mean, back here. Oh my god, they have cruising world. This is one of my favorite arcade machines in the entire world. Wow, so many good memories. Kathy says, yeah. Joss, it is indeed raining, Joss. So, this is the meatpacking of Chicago. These uh, newer uh, high rises are done in the industrial style to complement the older industrial buildings right over here. And we have the L down there. Kathy says, but no one usually has any Chicagoans in tough times. It sure is rainy. Kind of like the look of this building. Susie says it does look like Chelsea a little bit. Yep. Yep. This is a perfect day to hang out in that arcade emporium, drink a good beer, play cruising USA. <laughs> really good time. It's Kathy. Oh no. We better seek some cover. How long are you going to be here, La Chilanga? Through early next weekend. I head out on Saturday back to New York. So for some reason, it smells like burnt baked goods. Is there a bakery factory nearby? I'm so curious because it smells like burnt baked goods. I'm not sure why. Let's check out the train before we go and seek Kathy says there's no cars the particular road we're walking on has been mostly closed off there it is there it is Tra, ladies and gentlemen that is the commuter rail of Chicago. I think it should be the third largest commuter rail system after New York, then Boston, and then I think Chicago should be number three. We've got a gigantic American flag there in the distance. Is that the Ukrainian flag underneath? And lots of street art all around. Kathy says, are you taking the red line? Uh, not today. Not today. We're sticking here to the West Loop area today. All right, let's go. My...
Jimmy says you're close to what's called the Ukrainian village. Yeah, Ukrainian village is right next door. I don't think this is the Ukrainian village. This is a uh, Fulton Market. Metro commuter rail has some of the slowest service in Chicago metro area. Most routes run on freight lines, says Adam. Oh. Alex says nomadic ambience just filed a, a cease and uh, desist. <laughs> you know, I've been doing videos of walking around in rain and many other weather circumstances. I've been doing this for six years at this point. May will be my sixth year. Queen Wifey says, are you planning to do a live stream in Massachusetts? I did Boston late 2020. Check that out. Oh, look, we have Google right down there. Uh oh, I hear thunder. Uh oh. Thunder and lightning. Kathy says, more thunder soon. We'll pour soon. Okay, so I'll put into a vote. Um, I'm not sure how far the McDonald's headquarters is. Um, McDonald's or Time Out Market? I could do McDonald's for a separate broadcast, actually. We could do Time Out Market. Um, let me know. Do you want to see the Time Out Market? Time Out Market is basically a food court run by Time Out Magazine. And they have a variety of different food to choose restaurants that are already extremely popular or very well renowned of the city to have outposts in uh, their food courts. So it's a very fancy food court. Okay, time out market it is. But let me show you a little bit more right over here. <laughs> Deming says, screw Mickey D's. I don't have too many people hyped to Mickey D's. I'm not sure whether that is an excellent thing or that's a bit disappointing. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't really tell. <laughs> Take the pink line, get off 18th, says, for some real good food. Oh, yeah. Susie says, oh, I must wait longer for Mickey D's. Don't worry. Might, might happen. Make a, a short video. So Goose Island is actually nearby, and their beer is from here, from Chicago. Uh, Goose Island is an actual island, like, within walking distance. Dean says, I just wanted to say hello. Keep doing your live videos. Yeah. Rosemary, across from the market, is a Top Chef winner. Croatian and Italian food. Ooh, Rosemary, right down there? Rosemary. Brian, says Brian. Oh, cool. Susie says, we all need to dry out soon. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go into timeout market, shall we? There's popular music playing, so thank you so much. Round of hearts to the super urbanists, the Patreons, patreon.com slash urbanist, uh, to the YouTube members and the Facebook supporters for supporting this broadcast despite popular music. Wow. That's big. So we got a rooftop level. Oh, that's really cool. Let's see if we could go to the rooftop first. And we got a few, uh, we got a coffee shop in front. Uh, 
Hey. So we got a ramen bar. Asian comfort food. Oh my god. Pastries, mmm. Oh yeah. Wow, oh, this is nice. There's a comfy second floor area. Oh, I might come up here. Susie says a nice bowl and soup. Ooh, that sounds good. Kathy says it's almost happy hour, yeah. Leslie says, this reminds you of the market underneath uh, the Plaza Hotel. Yeah, uh, the Plaza, that one is uh, older than uh, Time Out has existed. I'm not sure if it has reopened opened yet, but yeah. Th these type of food halls, I'm not 100% sure, but from my personal experience, it seems like these food halls were innovated in Europe first. Has the 100-year-old uh, Mercado San Miguel so that's a very old food hall market and I think in New York they adopted these food halls with uh, the smorgasburg and then later on the urban space and then it caught fire all throughout America so you have especially now in Chicago and uh, maybe San Francisco has one of these I need some water though I need some water straight. There we go. Full glass of vodka. Chicago water tastes. Has a slight rust taste to it. Mmm. It tastes like cast iron and a little bit of limestone. How do we go to the rooftop? I think this way. Let's see. Let's see if the rooftop is open. Well, it doesn't taste bad. <laughs> no, no, not, not, not bad. Ah, rooftop is still closed. Rooftop opens at 4.30 p.m. Well, on weekends, it opens at 11. All right, let's go. Let's go down and grab some food. This is Virgil Forever. Oh, Virgil, uh, the man who died, unfortunately, Virgil Abloh. So sad. He was a very talented fashion designer. I'm glad they painted this mural in his honor. May he rest in peace. I think he was the head designer of Louis Vuitton? Yeah, artistic director of Louis Vuitton. Yeah, and he collaborated with Kanye West. But only, I think, his late 30s, early 40s. Chicagoite or Chicagoan. Kurihara says Chicago looks nicer than I would have thought. 
Yeah, a Chicago. I think yeah, Chicago might have a lot of crime, but you're you're in this downtown area, you're not gonna see it. We got some Greek. He had his own brand called Off White. Oh, Ooh, Indian cuisine. Hi. Some Latin street food and tacos. Look at that. And some barbecue. Ah, uh, okay. I know. I know what we need to to do here. Polish and Colombian fusion. What? That's an odd fusion. I like my Colombian food. I like Polish food. A Polish Colombian? What the? Jason says another pizza test. I think I think we are set on this path. I think we are on this journey. Ooh, fresh lemon. Diane says, okay, you need to try. All right, let's try Polish. In hey, how's it going? Gory? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. In have it with short rib. I also have actually a uh, sparkling water as well. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Would you like the water now or the meal? I'll have it now. The water. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, and the receipt as well, please. Okay. Awesome. Ooh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll have a tavern style. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll have it the, the tavern style. Yeah, the, the small. That's all. Is this the only location or is there another location? Um, we have a main location yeah. on Western and... Oh, okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Second thing. <laughs> Let's try this out. So we even have ice cream here. Look at that. Kathy says it's going to rain until 9 p.m. No! Don't do this to me. Okay. Let's go back upstairs. Get set up. Beef brisket. Ooh. Lots of cool things.
set up a table upstairs where it's a little bit more peaceful. And um, yeah, we're going to try what is apparently real Chicago style, not the BS <laughs> that apparently we had the other day. That, at least that's what Chicagoans said, so let's try it out. This is the most powerful weapon to ensure that no one takes your table. Ladies and gentlemen, a book is not meant for reading. No, I'm not going to read this. This is just as a placeholder. Boom, there we go. If you leave it there, no one is going to take your seat. I'm joking. I'm actually in there. Videos I'll pop up this week, especially. So, we're gonna wait for these two. I'll tell you what. Kathy says, what, pizza? Pizza never, okay. I gave it a chance. Not like pizza. Styles of pizza around the world. I've tried. Um, I've tried uh, Roman style, Na uh, Naples style. I tried Hawaiian pizza in the middle of Sorrento, which was, was the, the weirdest thing ever. The guy laughed when I told him I want a Hawaiian style because he found it amusing that someone ordered it. And then uh, I tried um, pizza in, in North, in Milan, which was There was also pizza at least once in London. Pizza in New York. Pizzas. Chicago deep dish. It tastes like a like a pizza. It's good. I posted this video of the Chicago deep dish from Ron says, um, are you going to do a haunted feature? I will be featuring, um, at least one haunted story on TikTok slash Facebook, if not more. So stay tuned. There's a, interest, some, a few interesting stories here. So let me know if you're able to see me now, able to see and hear me correctly now. Wally. Adam says, try another spot. Uh, change seats. Change seats, is it, is it really that bad? This is a frustrating thing of going to Markets always have terrible service. Yeah, Rocky says, yeah, I hear you. It's good now? I had to uh, reconnect, let me know.
Jason at this moment is spotty. Rocky says you're fine. Bruce says you're fine. Kurihara says it's fine. Teams okay, cool. We're missing half of the audio. Oh no. Wow, is it, why is the service so bad? Do I have to go downstairs? Let me know. I'm going to stick around here a little bit longer. Let me know. No, not so fine. Kathy says... I got to go downstairs. All right. Let's go downstairs. I got to go downstairs anyway. Too bad it's very really necessary. Yeah, yeah. It felt so nice. Sometimes I don't like eating, um, doing a live video and being so exposed. That's why I usually don't sit in those outdoor areas. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, let me know if you see me and hear me better now. All right, let me know if you see me and hear me better. Camilla says, yes, it's better, awesome. Right. Okay, so, before I dig into these, these look really good uh, and very interesting. So I posted a video of Chicago Deep Dish on TikTok, uh, which I have. You can check it out later. Or go to Urbanist Live on Facebook. And a whole lot of people apparently from Chicago said that Chicago Deep Dish is actually just for tourists and maybe one Asian. That's basically what Chicago Deep Dish is. It's not the daily Chicago. daily Chicago pizza is a tavern style pizza, which is a very thin crust and cut into squares. Um, we're gonna try some tavern style with uh, the next stop, which is going to ring soon. Uh, but before that happens, let's try a weird combination of Colombian with Polish. And somehow they managed to make pierogies look like tiny little empanadas. Let's try it out. Joseph says, have I seen uh, Al Capone's cigars? No, I have not seen Al Capone's uh, sites yet. So this is <laughs> in, in pierogies. 
they're pierogies in the shape of a little empanada. Oh, they're so cute. It's a cute little empanadas. Look at that. Wow. They're so cute. I love that. It was like the coolest thing ever. These are rib, which I'm very excited for. So yep, what is it on the side? Short rib. Let's try it out. Try it out on its, on its own now. Try it with the sauce. It's hot. Really good crust. The crust is a bit thicker than a pierogi. A little bit more crunchy. Kind of the crust itself, the actual encasing, is halfway between the pierogi and uh, and the uh, empanada. Wow, let's go. Okay, so this is not Chicago deep dish. This is apparently the true, true Chicago style. At least that's what a lot of Chicagoans have told me. It is tavern style. Super thin crust, almost cracker-like. So basically what Domino's pizza used to be like. Uh, cut up into squares. There we go. Tavern style. Whole lot of cheese. There's no sauce. No sauce under the cheese, no sauce over the cheese. This one's a white pizza. Camila says, bella pizza. <laughs> yep, yep. So apparently this is the true Chicago style pizza. Let's see. But let me finish trying this first. At least one of these. It has um, some type of potato mixture in it. Not super stuffed with uh, a lot of short rib, just a little bit of short rib. It's also a red potato sauce. So it's a bit strong. I like it. It tastes more like an empanada than a good pierogi. Which, which I like, I would just wish it had more meat. Let's try it out with the sauce at least. good basically more like a traditional empanada just tiny not as good as masaka says no robert doesn't quite hit the mark as masaka it's good by all means it's just uh very potato heavy i don't know i'm not in the mood for potatoes let me know do you like your empanadas with a lot of potatoes i know that's normal in uh pierogies with potatoes but I like more the American style pierogies and get with the raw meat. All right, let's try this out. So, um, Joseph says this pizza looks sad. I don't know, it kind of looks happy to me. It doesn't look too sad. It looks nice. AAP says only in Idaho I we eat all the potatoes. So right there, look how thin this is. Oh my God, this is like paper thin. Kathy says, you're beating a dead horse with Chicago pizza. Trying all the Chicago pizza? Well, let's 
try this out. Wow. Oh my god. That's so garlicky. Such a huge punch of garlic. There's roasted garlic in here. Lots of garlic, so it's a punch of garlic. It is definitely a very cracker-like crust, so it has a lot of crunch to it. It um, it reminds me a lot of old school Domino's. But old school Domino's was really bad. Just the the only thing about old school Domino's is that if you're not from uh, Chicago, you probably were not familiar with the cracker crust. So Domino's was the most popular way of eating cracker crust outside of a city like Chicago. Let me know if any other cities do cracker crusts. 2003, 2004-ish, around there, they used to have a cracker crust, and it was really hated upon. People did not like the cracker crust, so they decided to reinvent their entire, um, their entire recipe in order to have a more buttery crust. So no longer is Domino's like this. I dig it. I really dig it. This is a good pizza. Really good cheese. Really uh, garlicky. I really needed some good garlic. That this tastes really good. This tastes like a flatbread. Yeah, it's more it's more in line with like a flatbread. It's a flatbread pizza basically. Uh, it's not so crackle, cracker like. Uh, so it's not to the extreme of cracker, but it does crack. There's a good crack in here. Mm. I like that. Well, let's try something crazy, shall we? With the food, I mean, for many people, and my necklace is stuck on the AP says, but no snap on pop. And Ron says, it's good enough to have someone kiss you afterwards. Oh, yes. This is the perfect pizza for a date. All that garlic. Oh, yeah. How's the cheese? The cheese is good. This is a good cheese. This is more why I like. I can see why Chicagoans prefer this over a deep dish. I can see why. This is a really good example of a tavern style. A lot of people say, don't play with your food. They teach when you're a little kid, don't play with your food. I think that's utter bollocks. Uh, that is completely BS. Play with the food. We're gonna do something crazy. This is already Polish and Colombian, but what if we put Polish, Colombian, and then that daughter meets a Italian Chicagoan and then they have a baby. Let me know if you're down. Imparogi, imparogi sa, imparogi sa, imparogi sa, imparogi sa, imparogi and pizza, imparogi sa. Wow. Oh my God. 
That is a really good combination. Mmm. Wow. Now the potatoes are working. This is what potatoes were meant for. To put, be put on top of a gigantic pizza. To make an abomination. Uh, make an abomination of a pizza that actually is super delicious. Wow. Dare I say that they're better together than separate. Susie says, ew, no. You gotta try it to, sometimes you gotta try it in order to believe it. That's an excellent combination. We're gonna, I'm gonna do one more. Adam says, is it? No, you would think it would be. But this is so potato heavy. And the crust of this, it doesn't taste like pasta. It doesn't fully taste like an empanada. Uh, so this doesn't have too much taste in casing. And it's so potato heavy on this that it just combines so well with the pizza. Combines perfectly well with the pizza. Actually makes this better because of the pizza. This is a bit too kind of sharp. Mixed it with pizza, just makes it. Mm. Hey, DS, nice to see you here. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Janice. Kurihara says many people use Tabasco when eating pizza in Japan. Yeah, Americans do that too. Um, I'm, I'm excited to try Japanese pizza at some point. AAP says it's an Inca thing way back. Yeah, eating potatoes. Yeah, yeah, it is. Can you try a Native American restaurant in Chicago? So it's pretty funny. That's a good Once in my life uh, at the Native American Museum of Washington, D.C., which had an amazing uh, food court of Native American food. When I went in Washington DC in 2020, since it was still the pandemic, it was closed. Um, I'm not sure if Native American food restaurant exists in Chicago. Let me know if anyone knows any. Mm. Susie says you invented a new dish Indeed I have. Indeed I have. What has changed in Chicago from the last time you've seen this as DS? I don't remember too much from it, but I noticed more uh, modern food restaurants. That's what I noticed. I remember when I first visited, it was a lot of fast food. Um, a lot of like very commercialized fast food. So I've noticed a little bit more kind of mom and pop food restaurants, which is nice. Do you enjoy marinara dipping sauce? Mm. Mm. Rocky says, sometimes a pierogi would taste better at room temperature. That's good to know. George says, I forgot the jalapeno poppers. There is a, there's no jalapeno poppers, but there is a, a grilled cheese place here, so similar type of American comfort food. DS says it's a top foodie city. I can see that. I can really see it. It's be a top foodie neighborhood. So um, Janice and Ron mentioned Filipino food. There's actually a Filip there's a few Filipino restaurants here in Chicago as well. Um, Chicago is another city in the U.S. that has a substantial Filipino population. And apparently there's a few excellent Filipino restaurants. Ron says it needs some uh, ranch dressing. Mm. 
it's perfect as it is. Raul, Raul is a Chicago one. Thank you so much for tuning in, Raul. Says this, there isn't really a Native American restaurant. Yeah. Mystic Blue Cheese Place? There is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There is. I am. The place I'm eating at is called Time Out Market. Time Out Market in Chicago. How will you describe the people of Chicago? Says the yes. I haven't met too many, so I, I can't tell you. I can tell you Chicago feels a little bit closer to New York. It feels a bit more like New York. Chicagoans feel even more closer to like Boston, I would say. Um, still feels like a pretty straightforward city. No BS, but people are still friendly. Okay, I'm gonna have one more other questions and then we're gonna continue walking around before there's more torrential rain. Six says uh, Boston is cool. Indeed, it is. And slam that like button right now. We got 276 people tuning in. Welcome everyone. Nice to see you here. Let me know if you enjoy this type of... Mystic Blue says, I've rarely seen streamers here. Really? Oh, okay. yeah. I like coming to the food halls. I'm really impressed by this pizza. Really impressed. You deal with rude and condescending people. Here in America, you won't. So you've seen Seattle, you've seen Boston, you've seen Washington DC, New York. There's not that many rude, condescending people. Some of the cultures, the chances are a bit higher for that type of um, person. But when I do encounter that, which is rare, either, especially when I'm going to a business and it's the person behind the counter or a waiter or something like that. It has happened with me before. It has happened on live video before. I just go to a new place. I don't give them my business. Um, I just end up getting the vibe, I just go to a new place. If it's already like in mid eating, that's always even more awkward. Uh, there's only been one instance in my life where I just did not want to give a tip at all here in America. In other countries, rude and condescending, people might be a little bit they might not like you because you're not from their country. Uh, I encountered this in Italy. Italians overall are nice people, very nice culture. Uh, but in a country like Italy, you might encounter people who really don't like Americans um, or who have very bad preconceptions of Americans. And when that happens, yeah, I also tend to just go to a different place. I'm not gonna bother giving my business or sticking to a place uh, like that. Luckily, you always have options in most places in Europe or the U or North America that you don't need to uh, stand for that type of rude or condescension. You can just go somewhere else. Susie says France. Yeah, France, it happens, yeah. The chances are a little bit higher in France and Italy. Um, and when it happens, just go somewhere else. All right, let's continue walking around. George says the Italians didn't like you because you put pineapple on pizza. <laughs> it's been years since I've seen um, 
back, uh, I've been back to Chicago, Ariel. Would you be possibly going to a little city like Denver, Colorado? I've always been curious about Colorado specifically, um, especially it's like mining history and it's uh, frontier history. May one day. How do you like the pierogies? I like them. It's not my favorite, uh, but I do recognize that they made a good meal. Like this, it is good cooking. Um, I just personally do not like it. Pretty nice, says Stephanie. Oh, yes. So speaking of Italy. Ferale. Ferale. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Ferale. Um, yep, but this is a classic Italian sparkling water. It's really good. Spark That said, Chicago is awesome. Chicago is awesome. Good variety of food here. Let's continue walking around. Mm. Are people serious or funny in Chicago? I haven't met too many, so I don't know yet. No one has cracked the joke with me. I could people were funny. So Chicago, I don't know yet. It strikes me a little bit similar to New York or Boston. But it's not as high as in Ireland <laughs> or parts of uh, the UK. Let's go. Liz says also good oregano in Denver. Oh, really? Like they put oregano on the pizza? Cool. Oh, you're talking about the other oregano. Yeah, yeah, I finished it. Thank you so much. Okay, still raining here. And Anastu says it was a nice restaurant. Yeah, it was, yeah. So the two places we went to were Palombia, Palombia, and the pizza was Candlelight, Candlelight, at the Time Out Market. Lynn says, looks cold, brr, yes. Ooh, excuse me. I think it's thundering. That was, uh, I think that was uh, some lightning was happening. Ooh. 
Whatever happened to Facebook? Facebook now I'm getting so little views. It's only uh, 24 people. Wow, that's super low. Like I, I, my, my audience is growing so much on Facebook, but uh, live videos are going downhill. This, uh, did Facebook again decide like, nah, Facebook uh, live videos no more. We don't care about it anymore. Short videos all the way. Maybe that's happening. That kind of sucks. But if you're watching on Facebook, feel free to share these videos. And also on, uh, you can watch on YouTube. There's more people um, watching on YouTube. So if you want a place where there's more people tuning in, go YouTube, Urbanist Exploring Cities. There's more people in the chat. Ooh, all right. Diane says that, that sucks. Yeah, Facebook priorities. They don't realize that all video is good video. Um, they 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 uh, kind of um, change priorities and making um, they they're uh, deprioritizing live video. Facebook is also getting less popular, uh, which is a good point, Doreen. So I think those two combinations is why the views are so low at the moment. All right, let's continue walking around. Lynn says, I only have YouTube. Oh, holy shit. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not sure if the camera caught that, but <laughs> yep, lightning right above my head. Oh, that was a little bit scary. No, oh, no. It didn't make contact with the. Oh, no, Sue says, my word. Oh, yeah. My word indeed. All right, who wants to work at Google? Let me know. Steffi says, <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Likewise. Likewise. GN says, am I hiring? Yep. Let me know if you want unlimited lunch on a daily basis. Free daycare, free gym, free sweater vests. Alleyways of Chicago. AP says you almost lost your pierogies. Well, I wasn't that scared. No, that would, that would be. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna walk around while it's, uh, there's lightning uh, because I'm carrying a huge gimbal with a huge camera, <laughs> uh, the iPhone 13 Max, and, um, and I'm exposed. There's not that much um, cover. We're gonna improvise and journey on the train. We're just gonna take the random train. They're all elevated, most of them at least, so let's enjoy a nice train ride wherever it goes. Yeah. 
Ron says it's a sign from the gods that I mix pierogies with pizza. <laughs> they're angry. They're smiting. Transfer to Pink Line trains at Ashley. This is a Green Line train to Harlem and Lake. Oh, we gotta go the other way. Yeah, Brian says, uh, pass Ashland and get that feeling. Um, so we're going to go the opposite way, which I think there's a little bit more architecture to see on the train ride. Okay, so we can go up here. There's an overpass. Oh my god. Woo. AAP says don't don't go to the south side. Otherwise you'll make the papers. <laughs> yep, that's going to the south side. But here we get some cool views here in Ashland. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh I love this. Uh oh. Oh shit. <laughs> it's a red troll raid. Alright, I'm gonna I, we're gonna go on one more train ride. Luckily I'm undercover right here. But look at how cool the elevator looks like going towards the city skyline. One of my favorite sci-fi films that has come in the past about 20 years is called Sword Train Ride. But that's a, like a commuter train or high-speed train, and it goes towards the Chicago skyline. And this right now reminds me of the majority of Source Code, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, and directed by the son of David Bowie, actually. So many James Bond escapes as on the Yep, yep, you can jump on to the train and do like a chase. AP says, watch out, Spider-Man. Spider-Man would have a fun time here in Chicago. I'm surprised there's no Chicago superheroes. Are there any? There has to be at least Chicago superhero. So this is poor you out in the rain. No, I, I kind of like it. Uh, at least we have a train system here where I can seek shelter. All right, let's take the other train. The red and the blue, or 24-7. Oh my god. It's getting fierce. Wow, it's kind of beautiful, I love it. Look how gorgeous the rain is falling down here on the Chicago Elevated. Brian says, Southside has some great areas despite what you might hear. Yes, do let me know. Wow, that is the strongest rain I've seen in, in months. Lynn says, what's the price of a train ride? Two cents. Susie says, I'd like to see us outside. Yeah, you know, a lot of people always say, don't go to these areas and said in so-and-so city, uh, it's very dangerous. Um, Seattle, they told me that about London, and I've gotten that about uh, Birmingham. I've heard that also about Paris and Rome. And most of the time, it does not compare to New York City. 
I'm not sure about Chicago. I'm not sure if Chicago will feel a little bit more scary in the South Side than New York uh, bad neighborhoods do. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know. AP says just bring two gimbals if you go to the South Side. <laughs> a replacement one. <laughs> Brian says Bridgeport is uh, was a working class. Now hipsters are moving in. Uh oh. Iriva says looks like you're in another country. Well, this is how the rain is in my home country, Puerto Rico. My homeland. Here with all this torrential tropical rain. Stars, thank you so much, Linda. DS says, have you seen the play Chicago? Yep, I've seen Chicago on Broadway in New York City. AAP says, it looks like uh, El Yunque. Yes, it does look like El Yunque, the mountains, the rainforest in Puerto Rico. All right, let's take the pink line. Here, the pink line is coming. Let me see where it goes to. Ooh, cool, we can take a loop. We can take a loop to Clark slash Lane. Okay, going to Clark slash Lake. Awesome, good news. Oh my God, so packed. Why are there so many people on this train? Is it rush hour or something? I guess it's rush hour. All right, let's squeeze in. Chicago, all the beautiful art. So enjoy. Susie says, everyone abandoned me. Oh no, Susie. Susie tuning in on Facebook. Kurihara should be 4.40 p.m. right now here in Chicago. It's uh, one hour before New York City. Chicago has a population of 2.6 million or so. 
2.3 million, and, which is, makes it smaller than Brooklyn, and the metropolitan area is 9.6 million. So the third largest yeah. metropolitan area Los Angeles and New York. Day. Thank you so much. I'll look into the under pedestrian ways. Thank you so much. Uh, Mani pregunta: ¿Aquí hay vendedores en el en el tren? No, no hay vendedores en el, en el tren ni en las estaciones. Yo no creo que es permitido. So no, there's no vendors on the trains nor on the stations. I don't think it's permitted. Part of that loop so we passed the Chicago River if you didn't notice and we passed uh, a few streets in downtown or avenues so a lot of people here okay. let's check out the underpass as recommended by SJ and a few others it's <laughs> so cool I love the look of Chicago no wonder it inspired uh, Gotham City and Batman perfect perfect Hey, Susie says, Susie on Facebook says, I'm too, uh, Kay's asleep. I'm the only one commenting. Susie, come over to YouTube. I'm not sure what happened with Facebook. A waitress says, wow, slow down. Why is that, a waitress? What happened?
the day for a cozy coffee and bakery. I just might do that. I think I'm gonna go cozy up in the bakery, read more about the haunted stories of Chicago. But before I leave all of you, let's check out the underpass. All right, let's check out the, how the underground trains look like. So, from the trains here, uh, here I'm able to stream from the trains and I'm so grateful that it's so easy to stream from trains, buses, maybe an airplane, who knows. So this is the train to the south side. I'll take that later, I'll go there at night, hang out on the south side of Chicago. A nice place to go at night walk around with my camera Ron says, will you be walking back to New York City? Yep, I'll do, be doing a live stream uh, this weekend. Well, I'll walk the next weekend, we'll walk back to New York City. And join me for a 30, 20, no, it'll probably take like a week. A week live stream, walking back to New York. Maybe a little bit longer though. Maybe like two weeks. <laughs> AEP says... <laughs> If you hang out at uh, it's, uh, via ambulance, oh no. Dolores says, okay, Ariel, this has been nice. Uh, as usual, the midday, midday underground uh, sounds nice as well. Pretty funny, he says, uh, what about ever take a Greyhound? That sounds so uncomfortable. Maybe if I want to go to a city that's only like a few hours drive, but not more than that. Susie says, you should be tucked up on your n n bed at night, nice and cozy. And wow, to get to the blue line is quite a, quite a labyrinth. Reminds me of London. Kay says, thank you for the stars, everyone. Ooh. So the Chicago Underground has a a smell. So in some places it's a bit more fragrant than New York. I mean, Chicago is a very clean city compared to New York, but ooh, that smell down here. So here's the blue line. So this is the underground station. So uh, I think there's another line that runs underground as well. And this one runs all the way to O'Hare. So it's very easy to get from the international. So if you're coming here from anywhere, basically, domestic or international, if you're coming to O'Hare or Midway, you can ride right into downtown for only $2.50. Very inexpensive. So Judith says, Yes, it's a labyrinth, yeah. Uh, Thea says, by the look of your face, no need to describe it. No, I don't think so. Uh, all right, so everyone, downtown Chicago, uh, it is thundering outside, so hopefully tomorrow will be sunny and I won't need to uh, uh, evade any thunder and lightning. Let me know if you enjoyed today's broadcast. 
Uh, it was a bit slower because um, not too much walking today. But let me know if you enjoyed it. And thank you everyone so much for tuning in. I'll be back 3 p.m. Chicago time tomorrow and, and uh, Sunday. And then there'll be a for more Chicago live videos. 4 p.m. New York City time, 9 p.m. UK time, 10 p.m. Western Europe time. Thank you everyone so much for tuning in. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Bye bye. Now where do I go? I have no idea. See you later.